Are you wondering what to wear for those special events you have coming up? I'm Sheila. I'm a personal stylist and I help women find the best styles to suit their coloring, their body shape, and their style personality so they can dress well with ease. For the best style tips, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll be notified every Tuesday when I upload a new video. Today I'm going to talk about what to wear for those special events that you might have in your future. Whether it's black tie, cocktail, smart casual, or festive events, we'll be covering all of that today. In the new year, I'm going to do a video to answer your questions. So if you have a question, you can put it down in the comment section below or you can email me and my email is also in the description box. The first event I want to talk about is the black tie event. This is a very formal event and requires a long gown. It could be a gala or it might be a wedding. Now I know all weddings are not equal and sometimes you might wear a long gown and in others it wouldn't be appropriate. Let's talk about that gala event. When considering a gown, you want to consider the fabric, the color, and the embellishments. And I also want to add that if you don't really want to wear a long gown, a tailored pantsuit is also appropriate with some very nice earrings. First you want to consider the fabric and you really want to have that really luxurious fabric. One of those is velvet. Velvet is soft, smooth and shimmery. The only thing about velvet is it adds a bit of weight. So if you want to look a little larger, velvet is great. If you don't, choose a different fabric. Another fabric you could choose is chiffon. Chiffon is smooth, see-through and really pretty. And then there's satin. Satin also has that shimmery look like velvet, but it's thinner. The next thing you want to consider is color. First of all, choose a color that is your best color so it's going to make your skin look radiant and your eyes shine. The next thing about color is to think about the event. So if it's a gala event, choose a color that of course looks really great on you and maybe get one that matches your mood. But if you're going to a wedding, you might want to avoid colors that are in the wedding party and certainly avoid white. You don't want to compete with the bride. For this dress, focus on the shape. Choose a shape that's going to flatter your body type. Also, think about your assets. What would you like to draw attention to? And then choose a dress that will draw attention to that area. There are so many different designs to choose from. Choosing a dress like this could be a lot of fun, so make it fun. Also, if you choose a dress in a classic style, you'll be able to wear this dress for more than one event. For a lot of women, if they spend a lot of money on a dress, they will want to wear it more than once. So if this is you, choose a dress that is classic and you'll be able to wear it more than once. And hopefully, you will have lots of gala events to attend. Number two is a cocktail event. This one is semi-formal and you'll know it's a cocktail event because the invitation will say so. So what will you wear? Again, choose a dress that flatters your body shape. So for example, if you're a triangle body shape, you'll want to put more embellishments on top. So you can wear more glitter, more sequins on top and you will want to look smaller on the bottom. So that means you'll want to wear darker colors and bring less attention to your bottom half. Now if you're opposite of this, if you're the inverted triangle body shape, you will want to wear deep V lines and bring more attention to your bottom half. If you're if you're an hourglass shape, you'll want to draw attention to your curves and maybe play up some of your curves, make yourself more curvy. Not all hourglass body shapes are alike. Some are more curvy than others. So if you would like to create more curve, you can do that with your dress. Or if you want to create less curve, you can do that also. If you're a rectangle body shape, you will want to create curves. So you can wear a dress that creates curves. Wear shapes that bring attention to your waistline and create curves. If you're an oval body shape, you'll want to bring attention to your assets and you could do this by wearing a deep v-neck, maybe an empire waistline. You could also bring some sparkle with jewelry. For a semi-formal event, you can wear a cocktail dress that ends at the knee or just above the knee. You'll want to wear strappy sandals that match the material of your dress. So if you're wearing a lightweight dress, you'll want to wear sandals that are lightweight as well because all strappy sandals aren't equal. If you're not comfortable with wearing a short knee-like dress, you could also opt for a maxi dress. 
Again, choose your best color and a shape that suits your body type. Whether it's a long dress or a cocktail dress, I know that some women don't want to show their arms. They might want to not want to show their shoulders. So what you can do to still look great is to wear sheer sleeves and you can get dresses that have sheer sleeves. Maybe you can have lace sleeves or you could wear a dress that's long sleeve that has a high neck, but the back is out. For a cocktail dress, find one you really love, one that shows off your assets and one that makes you feel really good. And then choose sandals that bring the whole look together. Number three is smart casual and it's less formal again. Some of the places you might want to wear a smart casual outfit is at a networking event or maybe a home party. If it's for a networking event you want to focus on professionalism so you don't want to wear anything that is too low cut or it looks like it's meant for evening. You still want to have that professional look in your overall outfit. Stick to pumps, elegant flats, or simple sandals. For smart casual, you want to focus on color and fabric because you want that fabric to be comfortable. When you're networking or you're at a party and you're meeting people, you don't want to be uncomfortable and thinking about what you're wearing. So you really want to make sure that outfit is not itchy, it doesn't ride up, and that it really, and that it really feels good for you. This look is more simple. It doesn't have a lot of glitz and glamour and flash, unless that's part of your personality. And if it is, you will know how to bring it in. And of course, if it is part of your personality, it would be strange if you didn't have it. Number four is holiday festive. So this is where you bring in sequins and sparkle. But again, only if that's your personality style. If you feel more comfortable without that, don't wear it. Holiday festive is also about color. So you'll want to focus on colors like red, green, navy, and black. So first let's talk about red. You might think, well, I can't wear red. Red is not my color. There is a red for everyone. So every color you can wear is just a shade of that color is better for you. For example, if you're warm, you would choose a warm red. If you're cool, you choose a cool red. And if you've never worn red and you think I can't wear red, but you look for that perfect red, you might change your mind. The next color is green. Again, there is a green you can wear. Just find a green that is your best green. And for a festive occasion, the fabric is important. Luxurious fabrics are more festive. So choose a green velvet, for example. Black can be very festive when it's paired with sparkle. So if you're going to wear black and you're going to wear it near your face, make sure you wear lipstick, make sure you wear makeup, and wear some sparkle. Generally, black is not great to wear near your face after 50, but we are all different and we do have different skin tones. And some women over 50, over 60, over 70 can still wear black and look great in it. So it depends on you. It's not a one size fits all. These are just generalities. But if you're going to wear black and you want to have that sparkle and you want to have black velvet or black anything, make sure you know black is flattering for you. So for holiday festive, you don't have to wear dresses. You can wear pants if pants are your go-to. But to spice it up, choose fabrics that have that festive feel. And again, choose accessories that really bring out that sparkle. Instead of all black, maybe choose a cream and wear cream from head to toe and add some sparkle with that. Maybe choose black and white together. You could wear a sequin top with wide leg pants. There are a lot of options for holiday festive and it depends on whether it's a party, maybe it's an office party, it might be a home party. It all depends on exactly where you're going to be, but you can have a lot of fun with putting outfits together using fabric and using some sparkle. In November and December, it's always easier to find outfits with some sparkle. And a good thing is, if you buy a classic design, a classic shape, you can keep it again for next year and next year and next year. So you can have that sparkle whenever the festive season comes around again. I've talked about choosing styles to suit your body shape, and I've also talked about choosing your best colors. If you want more help with this, you can download my free guides, Color in You, and How to Dress for Your Body Type. And I will put the links for those in the description box below. 
The main thing is that you have fun when you get dressed and that you really love the final outcome. A special event is not that special if you don't feel good in what you're wearing. So thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and keep on styling.